Wait. Look at it fly. Absolutely magnificent. Looks like he's gone for good. This time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. No, no, he probably should. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Actually, on reflection, I'm not sure I agree with you. I think since you're the one with the fancy armor and the sword and the shield and the military training, I'd feel much safer with you by my side. Is that alright with you? I will take your silence as a scent. Listen, we should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Yes, I will... I will think about that suggestion. I will consider it long and hard. Alright, I've considered it. I don't want to be a soldier. Thank you very much for the offer. Oh, a bunny! Hello? Hello? Oh, look at him hop. See oh, that going... ruin up there? Yes. Big Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. I can imagine. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. No, I can absolutely see why you wouldn't. It looks like a decidedly unfriendly place. However, Nordic ruins are actually a treasure trove of information about the past. Why, there'll be secrets up there that haven't been discovered in literal millennia. How amazing is that? Oh, I can't wait to go and have an explore. The mind just boggles. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. How fascinating. Look at the intricacy of the design. And these indentations. Yes. These map to the constellations in the sky. Can you feel that? Can you feel that power? It's like the stone is thrumming with energy. In fact... What happens if I reach out and... Mage, eh? Well, to each his own. It's not for me to judge. Absolutely wonderful. This kind of magic must be ancient beyond understanding. Thank you so much for showing me that. That really was genuinely special. Well, onward to Riverwood then? Look at that view. Oh, gorgeous. Have I? You're admiring it too? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. Oh, that's Johnny Nice. But until you say. we get that confirmed by General Tullius. Just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? Sir, yes, sir. I will have absolutely minimal contact with soldiers or fighting or any form of peril wherever possible. That is fine with me. Hadva! Hadva! Hadva, there's wolves! Or a wolf. And look! Look, it's killed its friends! Hadva! Did we do something? Stay back! I'm warning you! I have fire! Scary fire! I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Don't you howl at me. Right. Yes. I'm watching you. Adva? Oh, there you are. You must stop disappearing like that. Hello? Who's this? Hello? Hello to you. Hello, hello. What a 
good boy. Such a good boy. Yes. Oh, I wish I had a treat to give you, but I don't. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for letting me share the pleasure of your company. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <clears throat> right, yes. Hadva, wait for me. A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What are you what doing? now, mother? Are you on leave? Is this your house? So, oh. What happened to you, boy? Shh, are you in uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? Hello! He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Do you know, something to eat sounds magnificent. I am famished. All that excitement made me totally forget. Gosh, I could murder a loaf of bread. Sigrid, we have company. Oh, what a lovely home. Hello there, young lady. I'm Hi, Lucio. Mom. We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Oh, thank you, madam. You're too kind. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' god. We were stopped in Helion when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? It's true! Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. Oh, I don't know I about that. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Oh, thank you. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Oh? Well, if there's anything I can do to assist, I'd be more than happy to help. It really is most kind of you to look after us like this. Thank you. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Oh, I see. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Oh, I can certainly take a message for you. It's the least I can do after all this kindness you've shown us. How do I get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. All right then, I think I can find I... my way there. Did you really see a Let dragon? me just finish this what delicious did it look meal. Like? Did it have big teeth? Mm. <sighs> well, oh, I need it. I'd better get back to work. Right then. You two make yourselves at home. Thank you, thank you so much for your hospitality, Alvor and Sigrid. Really appreciated it. Hadvar. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure, but there were one too many dragons for my liking. Nonetheless... It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Yes, certainly, and I hope Listen, to see you again I'm soon. I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to Solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there you can take a carriage to Solitude. All right then. See you around. What are you doing that for? I'm so sorry, madam. Just taking my leave. Bye. Well then, off on an adventure. Let's go to Whiterun. Hello there. Oh, it has been one rather surreal day, I have to say. Oh, look at that view. How lovely. Right, let's have a look. Whiterun, yes. Must be this way, I think. Oh, there once was a hero named Regnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorik's stead. Well, not riding, walking. Riding will be a bit too much to ask. Never could get the hang of it, really. 
But who knows, maybe one day I will learn. Hello. Oh, so many bunnies in Skyrim. I suppose I'll get used to them eventually. Ah, soldiers. Now, Hatfar said to keep clear. So, let's just act casual. Dooby 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 doo! Hello, what a wonderful day! Wonderful, wonderful! Hello, goodbye! This is none of your concern, citizen. I think I got away with it. Now that must be white rock. Excellent. Nothing like a little shortcut. Right. Gosh, what's going on over there? Is that a giant? Fight, certainly. Fascinating. I must get a closer look. Oh, and it's dead. Huh. This sort of thing must happen all the time here. Look at that. Inca well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. All right. Sorry, you didn't look like you needed my help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. Ah, well, that's, why that's I'm here the problem then. You see, brothers. I am not a true warrior and have never claimed to be. So with that in mind, I will bid you good day, madam. Farewell. All right, then. Honestly. Some people. No thanks to you. I ask you, really, what did they expect me to do? Just run in there and take on a giant by myself? Do I look like a warrior? No, I'll answer that. I do not look like a warrior. I'm a scholar. By Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the glorious farm. Well, isn't that nice? They have jesters here. How lovely. I'll have to look into that at some point. I can do with a good laugh. Good evening, officer. Yes. This seems like an excellent place. Very defensible. Good sturdy walls. I mean, not that walls would do much against a dragon, but still, it's good to have something, I feel. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Ah, well, that seems very sensible. However, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Hmm. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Right. I'll just get the door myself, shall I? Yes. Okay. Eve. Now then, up the hill we'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords right. for well, the Imperial soldiers. Can't believe I'm actually in a white run. How fat Battleborn, give me your money. Uh, I don't have any That's money. That's a piece you of an oblivion give me five gate. Right now, I'm gonna bloody Fascinating. Head. No, please. I know they had I big really problems here back in the Oblivion Crisis. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit oh, me. Mark. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. I'm sorry, what's going on here? Young what lady. Are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know. Even if you are my elder. You really shouldn't talk to your friends like that. Well, I say friends. He's probably not a friend from the way you were talking to him. You're going to end up in a lot of trouble if you carry on through life with that attitude, you know? Are you even listening to me? <sighs> Children. Right. Where was I? Mister, I know your family's you honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. That must it. be the guild It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now. Oh, And I can't wow. get the sword on my but own. So you're willing I to starve sort of expected it to be a bit more green. Oh wait, no, there's I some. One, I suppose that qualifies. You won't Still, I'll underwhelmed, you I must your say. Or you can keep your wife. And you another Oblivion Gate! Two in one city! Remarkable. And this! And... Um, yes. Citizens of Whiterun, I don't know if you were aware, you're not actually
actually allowed to worship Talos anymore? There was there was a whole thing about that. It's how we ended the Great War. No one seems fussed. Yes, well, maybe I won't report that in my expedition log. Hmm. Curious. Well, this must be the Jarl's Palace Dragon's Reach, I believe they call it. Fascinating. Let's head on in. Well, here we are then. Dragon's Reach. Spectacular. Right, let's go and talk to the man in the big fancy chair. What would you have me do? Oh, hello. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Valgraf is not receiving visitors. Ah, well, I'm not actually a visitor, you see. I'm actually more of a messenger. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on, then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. I did think he might. Uh, hello. Your Jarlfulness? It's an honor. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I did. It was big, it was black, it had teeth and wings and fire. It was very, very scary. Unfortunately, it destroyed Helgen, and last I saw, it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue <laughs> to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? Well, they're very impressive Lord, walls, we should but... send troops to Riverwood at once. That sounds it's wise. In the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send it to... All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight yes, with the storm cloaks. Do you mind? You'll We're trying to have a discussion I'll about dragons. My duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. <laughs> You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Oh, well, it really was nothing. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Oh, well, thank you very much. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Well then, a court wizard? I really would be fascinated to meet one of those. Lead the way. Are you going this way? Right, yes. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Fetch? Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Well, you're really selling it. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, yes, I am. when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, of course I will. I'd love to go to Bleak Falls Barrow. I've wanted to go there since I first laid eyes on it. I just find Nordic ruins the most fascinating places, don't you? I mean, the idea of going somewhere where no one else has been for thousands of years. Oh, it's just gripping. Absolutely gripping. Although, 
Come to think of it, Hadvar did mention the slight possibility of there being Draugr, you know, ancient Nordic zombies, and just on reflection, those aren't really 100% my favourite thing, just as a concept. So, perhaps what I'll do is I'll just go and have a look and judge how spooky and scary it actually is, and then and then I'll consider it, right? I'll consider it. I'll go away and I'll have a good think about it and decide whether the level of peril is equivalent to the opportunity of finding new things. All right? All right. You know, this if you've got the aptitude now, you should join anything the we can use to fight this dragon or dragons. We need it quickly before it's too late. Of course, Yao Baobu. You seem to have found me an able assistant. Uh, I haven't actually I'm agreed sure to anything you yet. Most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, well, in that case, I would love to go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Absolutely love to. Definitely agreeing to do it. Yes. You see, I actually am a man of um, somewhat significant family wealth, as it happens. It's just, well, as I was crossing the border, I ran into a little spot of trouble, and there were some soldiers. Hey, and, hey, hey. And they actually, uh, they relieved me of my gold. It was all a big misunderstanding, you see. So I'm actually looking for more. And if, well, you can facilitate me being given some, well, that would be really fantastic and would really help out with my whole academic situation, you know? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I will take that as a goodbye. Right, uh, yes, thank you very much. It's been a real honour. A real honour, sir. Right, okay. Uh, off to an ancient Nordic ruin. Very exciting. But, um, perhaps in the morning. Yes, we'll go in the morning. First things first, we need to find a room for the night. Because frankly, it has been a really, really long day. Now a nice inn would be absolutely perfect. Now let's see, I didn't see one on my way up. But I'm sure there'll be one. Let's have a look. Ah, this looks like a market. Now we're getting somewhere. And that looks like an inn. The Bannered <sighs> Mare. Looks nice enough. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. No, please. Just oh, wonderful. Take How cozy. What Hello, and it's got puppies. Oh, right then. Oh, what is it? That is How much nicer than anywhere else I've been today. Hello there. Yes, I could do with a nice hot this meal if that's enough, all right. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Apple cabbage stew. That'll do nicely. Yes, please. What do you mean I haven't got enough gold? Of course I've got... Oh, yes. Yes. No gold. Need to get used to that. Um, well... It's all actually a bit expensive for me, really. Um, you know, I I will just I will just have a seat, and tuck into my own provisions. Need anything else? Thank just you. Let me but know. yes, I, I will if be sure to do that. Right. Holders, the one to talk. Uh, let's see, I will sit down here. I think. Now I think it's high time that Good evening, sir. Ha! Oh. Huh. Yes. Lovely to meet your acquaintance. Let's see now. Loaf of bread, again. Not quite what I envisaged having for dinner, but it'll do. And another swig of that sweet, sweet water. <laughs> right. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful. Yes. You want a drink? Oh, well, I would love one. Trouble is, no money, and everything's so wretched expensive. Uh, so, thank you. No, thank you. Bye. Now, please, no more questions. Uh, you came to speak to me! I didn't ask any questions! Honestly. Need right. something? Hello what? there again. Hungry, tired, I would like to rent a thirsty. room if that's not too expensive. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Ah, well, at least I can afford that. I'll show you to your room right this way. Thank you, I'd appreciate if you need that. More food or drink, speak to Holder. I would love more food and drink, but as I said to you before, can't actually afford it. Right. <laughs> yes. If you'd care to show me to my room then? I have to say, a lovely place you have what here. Absolutely lovely. But nothing, thank you. I am fine. Just going to my room. But lovely of you to ask. 
Very courteous. Now this looks nice. Lovely. Lovely. Perfect. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, I will. I certainly will. Uh, now that you mention it, though, um, any chance of a door? Just on the balcony bit. No? It just seems to be completely open. I mean, well, that's going to be quite noisy to sleep next to. Not very private, but it is nice having a balcony, I must say. Yes, hello, everyone. Hello. Right. Bedtime for me, then, I think. Gosh, it's been exhausting. I got attacked by a dragon. Lucian Flavius attacked by a dragon. And then some terrorists. And some spiders. And then I snuck past a bear. And then there was a wolf. Whew. Oh, and then a giant, but... Managed to not get into that one. And then a scary woman. Hmm. Quite the day. I think I will sleep well tonight. Good night, Skyrim. Hello, sleep. <laughs>